yeah, this car is too much fun. <laughs> So I just wanted to give you all an in-car driving review. Just my honest review of the tune while driving. And I don't have a draggy or anything like that. <laughs> Nothing official, but just my honest opinion. Stage two plus has been amazing so far. Like the throttle response and everything just feels great. Feels really good. <laughs> So much power, like all the way through the power band. We were using our brakes today. It's a gorgeous, beautiful Sunday. So we're on the way to Yusuf Skate Park actually. So these back roads back here are really fun. So I'd say doing this mod and going to stage two plus, especially for the stage two high pressure fuel pump from Dorch, I would say it adds about 20 wheel horsepower. Uh, so I'm probably around the 420 wheel horsepower range. And then if I add some ethanol fueling, I could probably hit 450, but uh, I would definitely be looking to get this car on the dyno soon. So look out for that video in the future. Make sure you subscribe. And with his car being a competition tune stock at Beatty, it could be pushing around, you know, that 420 wheel horsepower mark. And my car honestly feels a little bit faster. <laughs> There's so much of a difference between F80 and F30 because of the DCT transmission on the F80s. It's just like night and day difference as far as like race car feel. So like the M3s definitely feel way more of a race car feel. But these 340s with the ZF8 transmission, the automatics, they feel really smooth and the power delivery is just way smoother. It definitely doesn't clamp as hard as the DCT. Even with the XHP flash tune, definitely does clamp pretty hard, but you know, can't compare. So this stage two plus tune paired with XHP stage two is a total game changer because we get full torque, like full boost throughout the gears and torque limitations have been raised. So taking full advantage of the stage 2 plus tune and also the stage 2 high pressure fuel pump from Dorch because that's has the most flow so we get like the most power from the tune just being off the shelf map describe going from stage two to stage two plus is it definitely like throws you back in the seat way more you get more of that you know g-force feeling that you're used to in the m cars especially when they're tuned like those things like my friends uh jonathan tazen's his m4 stage two with uh, ethanol feeling and that thing just puts you back in your seat <laughs> it feels really cool so this is like we're now getting into that feeling of fast and I'm digging it, that's for sure. So another thing to note is that with an upgraded fuel pump, you'll obviously be flowing more fuel. And with that comes a decrease in miles per gallon, but also an increase in smiles per gallon because this thing is just too much fun. Yeah. <laughs> so overall with the tune, like it's just so much more fun to drive now. And it really feels like it's not struggling to make the power it's making and it's just like pulling all through the power band. It just feels really good. That's gonna wrap it up. Just wanted to do a quick drive with you guys and let you know like my experience, my opinion with the Stage 2 Plus Flash from boot mode now. And is it worth it? Definitely. <laughs> you don't have to ball out and get like the, uh, the Stage 2 HPFP from Dorch. But alrighty guys, so I'm gonna meet you back in my YouTube studio and just kind of discuss with you guys like the different options that you have for these fuel pumps and why you'd pick one over the other or what you may need to get the horsepower gains that you want, so. Before we get into the next portion of the video, I want to introduce a new sponsor to the channel. 
Simply Carbon Fiber. They're a lifestyle brand that has a huge selection of real genuine carbon fiber accessories. From watches to sunglasses to phone cases and more, you gotta check them out. Lately, I've been using this carbon fiber wallet from them. It's more like a money clip slash wallet. It has a money clip on the back and it's super lightweight and it looks cool too. The carbon weave is on point, it's real carbon and it matches all the carbon on the exterior of my car and it also makes it lightweight as well. So head on over to simplycarbonfiber.com to check out some high quality, real carbon fiber accessories. So why do we want to upgrade our fuel pumps in the first place? Well, the more flow and fuel you have, the more horsepower you're able to support. So that's why when you upgrade your fuel pump, you can now flash to a stage two plus tune, which is throwing out a little bit more boost and upping some of the limits, you know, for the tune. And that's why you can support more horsepower. So all in all, like V58 is an excellent engine. It's already broken so many expectations. It's very capable on the stock turbo or even a larger turbo. However, the high pressure fuel pump remains one of the weaker points in the engine, especially when you're running, you know, four to 500 wheel horsepower then you definitely want to look into upgrading that. So the options that we have for the Gen 1 B58 are the TU fuel pump, the Stage 1 fuel pump, or a Stage 2 fuel pump. Now these are from Dorks that I'm referring to, but there's also a few other companies like Spool that make upgraded fuel pumps as well. So you can check those out if you want. All right, so first off, just on pump gas in general, the limits you'll probably reach are up to like 500 wheel horsepower, and you'll really reach the limit on the turbo first, as opposed to the fueling system. And again, it's all like depends on your car, like engine to engine, b 58s will vary, whether it's like wear on components or all the other auxiliary mods that you might have done. So everything can vary. So even an aggressive like E30 tune will quickly max out its limits on the stock fuel system. So when you're upgrading your fuel pump, it's a good idea to want to go ahead and leave yourself some headroom. More the better, but 10 to 20% breathing room will ensure you have a safe setup. This applies to more than just fueling, but it's, yeah, it's a general rule of thumb that if you're building an engine for 700 wheel horsepower, you want to make sure that engine is capable of like at least 800 wheel horsepower, just so you can play it safe and have a reliable engine. So the high pressure fuel pump on stock B58s for the Gen 1 is like the first limitation that you'll reach in regards to fueling. So it's definitely one of the mods that you want to upgrade if you're looking to make more power, but these mods can also be expensive. So that's why a lot of people just opt with the TU fuel pump. It's less expensive, but there are drawbacks to that as well. So obviously I went with the Dork Stage 2 fuel pump. And with this fuel pump, I honestly don't really need it because all I'm aiming for is 500 wheel horsepower in my car. Uh, considering it's a rear wheel drive, I think that's pretty substantial for a 340i. And that kind of horsepower is definitely achievable with a TU or a Dorch Stage 1 pump. But like I mentioned previously, that I want the most headroom to grow in my car. And I also am, uh, hopefully, planning to get a turbo down the line. And so doing some custom tuning with the turbo and the Stage 2 fuel pump, I could definitely really push the motor to probably anywhere from 550 to 600. But if you're looking to crack the 600 wheel horsepower mark, you definitely want to upgrade to the stage two high pressure fuel pump. So since I have the stage two fuel pump, I can go up to like full E85 and do some crazy stuff like that. But <laughs> I haven't gotten into the ethanol mixes yet. So I plan to do that in the future and I'll be sure to make a video about that as well. Now I didn't go with the TU fuel pump because it's the least amount of flow improvement and it's actually not designed to run within the Gen 1 B58 fueling parameters. And the pressure relief valve is kind of like the failsafe in case, for example, like an injector were to be clogged and then it would create a bunch of back pressure and the fuel pump and the fueling lines and it could potentially rupture a line if it doesn't have that failsafe in place. However, I think this would rarely occur, but it's also another point to be very clean when you're installing the new fuel pump, just so you don't get any contamination in any of the fuel lines, which ends up going to an injector. So you definitely want to be clean and proper in your installation process for these pumps. So the TU fuel pump is a solid option for anyone that's wanting to stick with the stock B58 turbo and probably just run, you know, like an E30 or E50 mix at the most. However, the TU pump is still a great option for those that are trying to save some money and, you know, not really push the car uh, super far with horsepower gains and ethanol mixes like that. So the TU pump can still get you into stage two plus and there's an option for that in all the tuning softwares. And you can also run ethanol mixes as well. I just don't know if it'll be 
as efficient as a stage one or a stage two fuel pump from Dorch. But for me, you know, if I'm gonna spend the money on a TU pump, I might as well just go ahead and spend a little bit of extra money to get a Dorch stage fuel pump. It'll run within the same parameters as the B58 Gen 1 fueling system, so you won't have any issues for the fail safe and the pressure relief valve. So that's also a peace of mind. And then you also have more room for improvement in horsepower down the line if you choose to upgrade other components of the car and engine as well. So that's why the Dorch engineering fuel pumps are really good options. You know, it's a really high quality piece of equipment. And you can also check out my previous video that I did on the install of the stage two pump. Go ahead and check that out if you're looking to DIY this job. It's really not that hard. You just have to make sure you stay clean and don't get any contaminants in the fueling system. So the stage one is definitely like a great option. Again, if you're looking to stay in a stock turbo setup, and you can definitely push north of 550 to 600 wheel horsepower pretty safely on the Dorch Stage 1 pump. However, if you are looking for more, then you definitely want to move on to the Stage 2 fuel pump. And with that, you can also you know, upgrade your turbo and really have room to grow and improvement for power and gains. But all right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Stage 2 Plus Tune. And hope that answers your questions. If not, definitely leave me a comment. Let me know any questions you have. Be sure to like this video, subscribe for future content, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.